Speakers who gesture more and have a broader range of gestures that they can pull from while they're speaking come across as more charismatic and interesting from the stage. But what if you don't gesture a lot? Or you seem to use the same gestures again and again? Well, rather than trying to add those gestures to your next talk or to your next speech, Use them in everyday conversation and do it for a period of about a month or so. Get used to adding those gestures to your gestural vocabulary because then you won't have to think about it while you're on the stage. And when you think about it while you're speaking, you're trying to decide, okay, I need to use this gesture here and I'm gonna do this shoulder shrug when I say this particular thing. What that does is ruin your authenticity because the audience can sense that there's an incongruence between what you're saying and how you're saying it and the body language that you're using to express those same thoughts. You can see this incongruence all the time on television. When you're watching commercials, watch for those commercials where they have an actor acting as a host or an MC. Uh, it could be a, a car commercial or they're, they're advertising a website, a hotel. Uh, website or something like that, you'll often see the actors use very definite, very emphatic gestures while they're talking uh, and it doesn't quite seem right. It's something seems a little bit off and this is what you're noticing, a little body language trick. When somebody's using an emphatic gesture, one that, that bounce, that bounces or like a, a baton gesture like this, if you notice that the gesture hits just a little bit after the word that they're saying with it, it doesn't seem right to us, right? If someone says, oh, listen, I absolutely believe what I'm saying, it doesn't come across the same as, listen, I absolutely believe what I'm saying. Because when the gesture hits just before what we're saying, it more closely matches what happens naturally to us in conversation. We react emotionally to something first through our expressions and our body language and then with our words. So if that gesture is not hitting at the same time as the word or even right before it, we see it as being a little bit off and that person seems a little inauthentic. So you can see if you try to add those gestures while you're speaking or while you're giving a talk or just practicing a talk and that's the only time you use it, chances are something's going to seem a little bit off. So practice those gestures in everyday conversation. Do it for a period of time and when you're on the stage and you really need it, they'll come out naturally.